Welcome to LogiCube's tutorial on the Forensic Falcon Neo. In this session, we'll introduce you to the user interface of this next generation forensic imager. For this tutorial, I have connected a Falcon Neo to a network, and from a PC connected to the same network, I'm able to use a web browser and operate the Falcon Neo remotely. The layout and user view that you see on the screen is the same as what you would see on the Falcon Neo display. On the left side of the screen, you will see all of the various operations available to you. You can use the arrows at the top and bottom of the column to scroll through all of these. We'll go through each operation one by one. Whenever an operation is selected, the center of the screen will include icons to step you through the various settings for that specific operation. These can include the imaging mode, source, and destination, and all the unique settings available for the chosen operation. Under Imaging, the Imaging operation allows you to image from a source to a destination. There are six imaging modes available. Drive to File to image to DD, E01, EX01, or .DMG formats. File to File to create logical images. Partition to File to image one partition from the source drive to DD, E01, or EX01 formats. Net Traffic to File to capture network traffic drive to drive to perform a bit for bit copy and file to drive to restore DD E01, EX01 and DMG images previously created by the Falcon Neo. Under hash verify you can perform a hash using SHA-1, SHA-256 or MD5 of a drive or verify the file hash of an image. The wipe format operation is used to erase, wipe and or format hard drives. The push feature allows users to quickly push evidence files from destination drives connected to the Falcon Neo or from a Falcon Neo repository to a network location. An MD5 or SHA hash is performed during the push operation. Next we'll move on to the task macro. The task macro operation will allow you to set up to nine different tasks to be performed sequentially. Simply click on the task icon and then add the various operations that you'd like to have performed sequentially. The file browser feature provides a write block preview of the contents of all connected source or destination drives on the Falcon Neo. Users can view the drive's partitions and the partition contents. The log operation displays logs of each task that has been for performed on the Falcon Neo. Logs can be exported to a USB thumb drive and are available in HTML, XML, and PDF format. You can view the logs by clicking on the file itself and then click view. You'll see the log here. You can export, delete, or select all the logs to be exported. Under Statistics, under the About Falcon Neo tab, this displays information about the Falcon Neo, including the serial number and the IP address of the unit. Advanced Drive Statistics provides smart data on any drive connected to Falcon Neo. The Network Interface tab show statistics and information on the network interface. Debug logs are used exclusively by LogiCube's technical support uh, for troubleshooting or answering specific questions about an operation that has occurred with the Falcon Neo. The Help tab displays a QR code that links to the user's manual online. Click it or scan it. Under Manage Repositories, this allows the users to add a network location as a repository that can be used as a destination for imaging or pushing images. Under the first tab, Add or Remove, uh, this allows the user to add, remove, or edit network repositories. iSCSI allows the user to set the iSCSI protocols. Configuration allows the user to change the default format option for drives that are not formatted by the Falcon Neo. Under System Settings, 
Profiles allows the users to create, save, apply, or delete user profiles and configurations. Password allows the user to set a password to lock the Falcon Neo from any configuration change. Under encryption, you can set the cipher mode and the password. The language time zone tab allows you to set the language and set the time zone. And the display allows you to set or decrease or increase the brightness of the Falcon Neos display and set uh, stealth mode to on or off. Under network settings, this allows the editing of various network configurations. Under interfaces, you can edit the TCP IP and enable or disable certain network services. And you can also set proxy settings if that's required by the user's network. Software updates allow you to update the Falcon Neo software either from a network over the internet or from a USB flash drive. You can also update the firmware if that is available. The power off tab and operation allows you to power off the Falcon Neo or to refresh the user interface. Under the drive power tab, you can set a timer to allow you to power off drives when not in use. You can easily add additional tasks by clicking on the Add New Task button here. For example, I can add a second image task, click on that tab, and you'll see all of the various settings in the middle of the screen are available to you to change the mode, uh, add a different source drive or destination drive, and to change settings. I can also add additional hash tasks if I, if I needed to. I could add an additional wipe task here, and you'll see again all of the settings are available to you. I can also use this button here to delete the task if I'm no longer using it. All of these tasks can then be set to start simultaneously. Thank you for your interest in Logikube's next generation forensic imager Falcon Neo. We hope you found this tutorial informative. To learn more about the Forensic Falcon Neo, visit our website at www.logicube.com or contact our sales team at sales at logicube.com.